Hi, Yotam from Tab9 here. In this video, I will talk about the JavaScript switch statement. A switch statement, also known as switch case, is a form of a conditional statement. It will execute a code block if a certain condition is met. Now let's see this in action. But before we start, go to your extensions tab and search for Tab9. This is an actual AI autocompletion tool that will become very handy, and you will see why in a moment. Now let's say that I have an online shop, and today I have a special offer. Buy three items, get one more item for free. I want to let my clients know about the special offer before they check out, and I want to display a specific message on their screen, depending on how many items they currently have in their shopping cart. So the variable items in cart represents the shopping cart, and the client that we're dealing with right now has two items there. Now this is a classic use case for switch statement and it goes like this. I'm writing switch and in the parentheses I'm adding the item that I want to evaluate. So in this case it will be the items in cart and you see how tab 9 auto completes exactly what I need. That's true. I'm just hitting tab and I'm going forward. Now I'm adding cases. In case the items in cart variable equals four, meaning my client has four items in their cart. I want a message to be printed out on their screen saying something like, hooray, the fourth item, fourth item in the cart is on the house because they bought four. And now I'm adding break. Otherwise, the switch statement will keep on running. Now I'm adding my next case. Let's say that they have three items in their cart. And that's correct, tab nine. If they have three items in their cart, I want to print out another hooray. You get one more item for free. That's very accurate, yes. And now we need to break this again. Otherwise, it keeps on running. But now I want to print out the same, the same message to the customer in case they have one or two items. So I can add two cases one by one. One will be two and the other one will be one. And now both for case two and case one, meaning the items in, the items in cart variable equals two or one. In this case, I want to ask them if they really want to go are you sure you want to not to buy? Are you sure you want to go? You can get the fourth item for free now. And I also need to add break here. But what happens if my client has zero items or five items in their cart? None of the cases here will match. And this is why the switch statement provides the default option. The default option will be executed as long as the expression given to the statement doesn't match any of the cases. So here we're just going to tell our client about the fact that we have an offering today, saying today only three plus one for free and we can just close this and I'm just going to use prettify to make it look how it should and let's execute the switch statement here so we have two items and the console log should print out are you sure you want to go you can get the fourth item for free let's see and it works and if I'm trying to use four items so it should say hooray the fourth item in the on the in the cart is on the house and it works and let's try a number that doesn't appear in the cases maybe eight items so it goes down to the default it's not four it's not three it's not two it's not one it goes down to the default today only three plus one for free so this was just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more you can learn about the switch statement and I encourage you to go out there and read and practice it and try to create your own switch statements. If you want, you can read the full article in the Tab9 Academy site. I will add the link in the bio. 
And until then, thanks for watching. Bye bye.